What would you tell them they need to hone in to get confidence? Beautiful. So this is where, like I said a moment ago, I, I, I now can see all how those puzzle pieces uh, interact with one another to create that true confidence. And the first step that I would suggest is um, choose it. So that's step number one, choose to be confident. And if you're not currently confident, uh, if your life doesn't look the way you want it to, um, it's because you're choosing something else. Mm. And that's a harsh sort of you know statement to make, but subconsciously or otherwise, what's happening is there. There's you're never not making a choice. So subconsciously or otherwise, you're choosing something other than confidence. Mm. And, and that you know that's one of the first things that I um, work with my clients on going to explore. What is it that you're subconsciously choosing here? So we talk about self-sabotage, right? We're not all mm -hmm. walking around going, I'm gonna sabotage myself today. Mm -hmm. That stuff is often happening subconsciously. And so when we can be clear about what we are choosing, then we have greater access to the success that we want in that thing. Mm. So if it's confidence, choose it. Step one. Interesting. Yeah. How could I identify, if I'm to sit down and ask myself one, or two, or three questions. How can I identify a hole in my own confidence? Okay, how can I identify my own lack of confidence? Mm -hmm. Okay, great question. So I would start by saying, take a look at your life. Your life will is the result of your actions. Your actions are the result of your choosing, your choice. Your choices are a result of your beliefs. Yes. So look at your life and see you know, where is it reflecting back to you exactly what you're choosing. Yeah. And oftentimes we don't take a moment to express our gratitude for the things that are working. By the way, gratitude is step number two. Yeah. Talk about that in a second. But oftentimes we don't take the, give what's working the same amount of attention that we do for the shit that's not working. So yeah. look at what's working. Mm -hmm. Acknowledge yourself for having chosen those things and then look at what's not working in your life and um, look at just assume that you're choosing that hmm. and then investigate further what may be um, the motivation for that. There's a hidden payoff there mm -hmm. and it may be you get to schlep responsibility mm -hmm. in that area of your life. You get to be small and insignificant, right? Which means you get to check out. Sure. And uh, oftentimes in so doing, what, what that result is, is something less than satisfying in, in our lives. Mm -hmm. And then we just beat ourselves up for not having the life that we want, not the relationship, not being the mom that you want, not being the friend that you want, not being whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, but there is um, there's great information there if you go investigating that. So take a look at your life. Acknowledge what's working. Be sort of impartial with the stuff that's not working. It's not an opportunity to go beat yourself up. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity to learn more about some hidden stuff mm -hmm. that's happening behind the curtain to understand yourself more deeply and to then course correct, make different mm -hmm. choices so that you uh, can have that fully satisfying life. And yes, it's not, it takes work. I get no, it. Yeah. That's why most people <laughs> don't do it because it right. is the hardest work there is.